Sorry about that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, <clears throat> an encouraging message. Uh, it's not copyrighted, right? Oh, no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> got that from Luke, chapter 5. I, I, can, I can use that. Well, good morning. I'm uh, Rene Salvacera. My, my wife is Juliet at the back. And uh, Abby's here. Okay. And Shiloh uh, is below. <laughs> All right, this is the, the, the presentation that we prepared for you. Um, I square MVP. Let's dirty mode. Very familiar, right? MVP is uh, that guy. <laughs> it, obviously, it's not Luke because Luke is five six. <laughs> Six and a half. And a half. <laughs> wow, so fast. Okay, what makes this guy very popular is, um, yes, he was, he, he, he was an MVP, but the statistics, right there, very popular. And for me, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in TV regarding this guy. He said, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That is a powerful message, especially coming from the Word of God. The Word of God is powerful and active and sharper than two-edged sword. Every time it is uh, mentioned, whether, whether in sports and entertainment, in the church, it has an impact to people. Okay? So, Stephen Curry has an impact. How can we make an impact also? Okay, uh, the first I is uh, Word of Life. Word, this is the new, the new phase of Word of Life. No more shield, no more like that, but uh, I don't know why. But we were told to obey authorities, okay? So Word of Life is like that. Word of Life International. Ex experience your faith. Um, we are an organization. It says here, okay? It's for the youth. 75. What is 75? Um, that number. Word of Life is 75 years old. And the ministry reaching out for the youth. Okay. The next number is uh, 69. If you're in the Philippines, you might consider that number. Uh, 69 is uh, the number of countries where Word of Life is. That's a lot. And they're adding some more. And the last number is 1327. These are the number of missionaries of Word of Life International. Okay? Uh, probably we are included in that number. Right? <clears throat> okay, this is us. Okay? Obviously, I'm in the middle. <laughs> My wife is standing, and uh, Abby's there in Shiloh. Um, we were wearing the the national dress of Indonesians, the batik. Okay. Uh, in Filipinos, we wear the barong and uh, the Imelda type thing, but uh, <laughs> Indonesians wear that. So if, um, for us, coming from Mindanao, it's exclusively for Muslims. But in Indonesia, big gatherings, precedents, and everything is they wear the thing. And this batik could range from up to 10 million rupiah, okay? that's uh, $1,000 above because of the quality. Uh, Malaysia is trying to get that, but Indonesia won. So they are best enemies also. All right, our target area is Indonesia. Indonesia is uh, the largest uh, archipelago in the world. If Philippines has 1,700 islands, it has 17,000. Islands. You want beaches, you go to Indonesia at your own risk. Okay. But there are no rebels in Indonesia, so you can, that's uh, pretty safe. No rebels and uh, no MILF, no NPA, nothing. So there are five major islands in Indonesia. The one on, the, uh, on your left is Sumatra. Sumatra is larger than the Philippines. And uh, 
Next is uh, Kalimantan. Kalimantan is the Borneo. We know that as Borneo. Borneo is shared by three countries. That's Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. They said Malaysians are moving the boundaries larger and larger every day because there are no guard in the boundaries there. Um, the next one is Sulawesi. Sulawesi group of islands is nearer to Mindanao. That's why many Filipinos are in northern Sulawesi, the Manado area. And Jakarta, uh, Java. Java is the, the central island. And the other group of islands is Papua. Uh, the Papua is divided into two, the western Papua and the eastern Papua. Okay. Uh, the eastern Papua is the Papua New Guinea. So, Indonesia is uh, uh, the largest country in terms of population of uh, Muslims. Okay. Um, right, this is their flag without the bird. The bird is the, their symbol, national symbol. Actually, the bird is uh, coming from the origin of Bali. This is the bird where the god of Bali rides. So it's uh, ironical because they are Muslims and yet they believe in this symbol. Okay, this is their money. 50,000, the largest denomination is 100,000. So when we came to Indonesia, that was a dream come true for us. We became millionaires. <laughs> Every month we receive millions and millions and millions every month. <laughs> so one dollar now is uh, thirteen thousand rupiah. Wow! And the projection it goes to fifteen before the end uh, ends, uh, before the year ends. All right? This is the central city of Indonesia. When you go north, that road direct you hit the embassy of the Philippines, which is a very small building. Mas malaki pa yung barangay ho sa barangay namin. Very, very small. And this is the central area, commercial area of Indonesia. Jakarta. Right? So this is the flag of Indonesia. The line between the white and the red is the equator. So, mas malapit sa equator ang Java. So, mas mainit doon. Population. If you count the population of America, minus 20 million, that is Indonesia. Wow. So, uh, I think the China, the, non the largest population, India, second. And third is the United States. Fourth is Indonesia. 2015, at the end of 2015, they said, uh, India will take over America, uh, uh, Indonesia will take over the U.S. So that's a large number. And 87% of that are Muslims. Okay? That's huge. You collect all the population of the Middle Eastern uh, Muslims, still Indonesia has bigger population. Other beliefs. Uh, there was a time in history of Indonesia during Suharto's time. Remember Suharto, the best friend of Marcus? No offense among Ilocano, I have Ilocano blood. And uh, <clears throat> during the time of Suharto, communism is going also in their country. He was a dictator and that was a blessing. So he declared no communism in Indonesia. So part of the constitution under his rule, he declared five major legal religions in Indonesia. Only five. Uh, number one is Islam. Islam is the name of the religion. Muslim is the follower of Islam. Okay? So, number one is Islam. Number two, Catholicism. If you can see big churches in Philippines, they have big churches also. Okay? Uh, next is Hinduism. When you go to central Java, Near the, the, the temple of uh, the Buddhist temple, you will see a series of temples of Hindu. The, the, the music of Indonesians is very related to the Indian music, except for that he's singing. <laughs> <laughs> Buddhism. I think the largest Buddhist temple in the world is found in Java, central Java, in Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta is the former capital 
of Indonesia during the war with the Dutch. So that is Buddhism. And 